Hey guys, welcome back to follow up video of Evolution X ROM for Redmi Note 8. So this time we are using version 2.7 based on Android 15. So I have been using this ROM about 2-3 days now. And if you watched my last video about Evolution X ROM, this is kind of pretty much same minus the charging issue we got with Evolution X ROM. So if you have watched that video, you can skip this one. Pretty much similar actually. So in terms of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything, working perfectly fine i haven't faced any issue bo lt and bo wi-fi working there are few things changed right now so if you go to infinity suite monet color so there used to be changing the setting panel and you can change it to different one so now that one is gone and we are not getting any kind of now bar here which we got with evolution x rom otherwise pretty much everything similar we can change we can customize up to our liking and the notification panel also you can customize so i have customized mine as you can see here so the setting ui as you can see pretty much similar to all other roms display setting we do get brightness control adaptive brightness all those things are working double tap to sleep double tap to work all those things are working so as you can see here no issue wallpaper and style we don't really get any kind of ai wallpaper with this rom so as you can see here we do get a single wallpaper as you can see here but you can use your own and in the more lock screen option we do have privacy add user from lock and few the other things and also i got always show date and time info so aod so if you turn it on as you can see you can aod is not much useful for this device as it's got ips display and it's going to consume a lot of battery Nothing much there. Notification is working well. Nothing new. Battery option. So we do get few options here. As you can see, fast charging option is also available. But I did try that. Fast charging is still not working. It only charges at 10 watt. So no fast charging. But the battery backup is pretty good. Uh, no drain issue at all. No heating issue. And also there is no issue with charging. Storage. Sound and vibration. No issue as you can see here. Working well. Power app volume control is available dolby atmos is available so everything is working here mode section is also included here so as you can see security and privacy we do get both face and fingerprint unlock and both of them work well so if i show you fingerprint so as you can see here each and every time works but the face unlock is a little bit slow outside location is working no issue and that's all what we are getting the system setting we do get few things here as you can see here xiaomi parts option is also available and that's all about setting ui in terms of application as i have flushed the gfs build we do get few google application here so circle to search is working no issue so as you can see here we can search a little bit laggy but works well so as you can see in terms of camera, we do get MIUI camera here. So MIUI camera is working. No issue. And Gcam is also working perfectly fine. One thing I have missed is that we do get sidebar. So as you can see here, sidebar you can use. You can keep your shortcuts and it is working perfectly fine. No issue with that. In terms of Google Photos, we do get Google Photos unlimited storage. So as you can see. Unlimited storage is available and unfortunately on this ROM also the magic editor is not working so if you try that it did and magic editor try now and if we circle it crashed so still magic editor is not working we do get safety net feature so you can use bank application without any kind of issue here so as you can see here Device is certified, so you will not going to have any issue with app compatibility. So everything works well. WhatsApp is working perfectly fine. I did try phone call, video call and everything. Working perfectly fine. In terms of phone call, as you can see here, Bo LTE is working HD. And call recording is also working perfectly fine. So if I play now. So call recording is also working. And I did try FM radio. FM radio is working. Even you can record fm radio so that is also a bible in terms of gaming the gaming performance is not really that 
good i would say but still pretty much playable i did try call of duty on this rom and working pretty well the ui is a little bit laggy outside i felt the ui feels laggy not like before it could be because android 15 is a little bit heavier so it feels laggy so as you can see but overall the rom is usable you can use this rom as a daily drive no issue at all no major issue you might find few minor issues here and there but as far as my uses i haven't faced any issue at all it's working perfectly fine so if you want to use this rom i will put the rom link in the description below that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one